Hello, everybody. Hello. तो आज हमारा एक बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन होने वाला है द सेशन टुडे दैट वी आर गोइंग टू बी डूइंग इज वोकेबुलरी नाउ दिस विल बी डन इन पार्ट्स ओके सो लेट मी जस्ट गेट स्टार्टेड विद इट जस्ट गिव मी वन सेकंड Hello everyone. Hello Mehak. Hello Gorav. Hi Shifa. Hi Malaya. Hi Suraj. Malaya, Malaya. Hi Samyak. Shanu, good morning. Good morning, everybody. I am fantastic, Shanu. Thank you for asking. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this session on vocabulary, um, not on reading comprehension, vocabulary in reading comprehension. Okay. Now, so we are in this session. We are going to just one second. Yeah. Vocabulary. in reading comprehension and in this session we are going to take a route over here of root words root words route so 10 root words we are going to be looking at and the words that emerge from these 10 root words all right so oh, thank you shifa thank you so much thank you thank you all right so uh, let's see if we can do 10 root words in a session uh, or if we can do more if we can do more the next session that we will have we will be do taking up more root words in one session okay so what you have to do in this session is you have to first of all understand the words that are emerging from these root words okay uh, listen very carefully and then uh, if possible make a sentence on these words okay whatever word that you have not heard before try making sentences with these words thank you malaya thank you so are we ready everyone शानू जहां पढ़ाई हो रही है वही पार्टी है पॉडी हैव यू वॉच दैट यूट्यूब वीडियो माय नेम इज जोगन एंड यू नो व्हाट टाइम इट इज इट इज पॉडी टाइम एंड डिक्चिक 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 दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ पार्टी दैट यू गोइंग टू गेट जोगन पार्टी okay so let's get started with it okay so you know what time it is it is concept time concept time everybody <laughs> it is party and concept time party and concept time all right so let's get started with it now these are the root words that we will be looking at okay acri or acer meli or molly Crissy or arky, side or sis, dole, Greg, pathy or path, path or pathy, Tommy, Benny and Mal. All right. Hi Rahi, Jai Hind, Jai Hind, Jai Hind. बहुत ही fantastic हूँ मैं. I'm good. So all these are very very important words. These are words. So बहुत सारे ton of words, not ton of words, but five, at least five words, four to five words emerge out of these words. Okay. So I've taken specifically taken these words. Uh, 
जिसमें एटलीस्ट फाइव फोर टू फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड्स जिससे आते हैं ओके सो कैन वी गेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट वन आर यू वेरी यू वेरी यस ऑल राइट so let's start with acri or acer okay now acri or acer is a root word jiska matlab kya hota hai bitter or harsh okay it basically means bitter or harsh all right so the uh, the words that come out of it are sabse pehle to acrid okay something that is acrid is something that is pungent okay something that is pungent okay to jab tires burn hote hain okay you get a pungent smell okay that is an acrid smell that you get so generally acrid is related to either tones maybe aapne dekha hoga acrid tone okay which is a pungent tone when the author is acting a little bit of little bit bitter okay or using bitter words for uh, describing something or talking about an issue and acrid can uh, also be related to smell okay strong pungent smell acidic smell that you get uh, is acrid okay yeah so it is basically bitter smell okay um like when you uh, even if you um hydrogen sulfide i think h2s the rotten egg smell right rotten egg smell deta hai that is also a pungent smell okay uh, nitrogen dioxide also gives a pungent smell which is very dangerous for health okay so do not go sniffing around nitrogen dioxide okay okay hi philopos good morning all right then we have the next word acerbic acerbic is also something that is harsh okay so if i say this person has an acerbic tongue that means jab bhi ye baat karta hai kuch na kuch kadwa hi bolta hai okay harsh words hi bolta hai ya harsh words hi bolti hai okay all right yeah we are coming to that uh, rahi we are coming to that so acrid uh, can you use it in a sentence acrid smell jab use kare to this is definitely an adjective isn't it it is definitely definitely an adjective acerbic tongue tongue is also an adjective okay moving on to the third one acrimonious okay acrimonious jaisa ki abhi rahi bata rahe the okay acrimonious is basically when something is again uh very harsh okay something that is bitter or harsh okay so like i said most of these words basically means bitter or harsh okay ab ye tone mein bhi aapne dekha hoga ki uh, Uh, अगर हम रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन के टोन देखे ओके सो दीज आर द टोन विच ऑलवेज एक्सप्रेस दैथर इज यूजिंग बिटर वर्ड और हार्श वर्ड ओके सो ऑल दीज वर्ड एक्रेड सर्बिक एक्रिमोनियस ऑल दीज वर्ड आर फॉर हार्श और बिटर वर्ड ओके वेन दी ऑथर यूजेज एनी ऑफ दार्श और बिटर पंजेंट वर्ड ओके देन द नेक्स्ट वन दैट वी हैव इज एक्सपरेट okay exacerbate okay exacerbate okay so exacerbate is also it has the word acer in it if you see yahan par hai hamara acer okay now this word is interestingly it basically means making a situation worse okay it may it means making a situation worse agar koi kharab situation hai usme basically jale pe namak chhidakne wala wali baat ho gayi okay making a situation worse 
और राइट सो वेन यू एग्जासपरेट सिचुएशन यू आर बेसिकली कोई खराब सिचुएशन है उसको आप जाके और उस पे उसको कचरा कर देते हो दैट इज एग्जासपरेट ओके सो when you exasperate a situation you are what are you doing you are worsening a situation okay you're making it worse okay so for example let's say ki um already ladai ho rahi hai aapke bhai aur behan mein aur aap ja ke unko points de dete hain ki ye bhi to hua tha okay to unko ya aapke bhai ya behan ko pitai pad rahi hai aapke pita ji ya mata ji se aur aap ja ke aur points de dete hain unko ki wo aur pite okay so you have exasperated the situation okay so the words are acrid acerbic acrimonious and exacerbate all right these words are clear the dish he prepared for dinner had an acrid smell very nice mehak oh god <laughs> uh okay um chinmay hi hi <laughs> doing quite well miss ya uh right two political parties alleged each other in uh, in an acrid manner a se agar aa raha hai to obviously it has to be um if you are using an article for it you will use um the one that goes for a vowel sound right so an acrid manner very nice good job rahi mehak her acrimonious reply to her boss exasperated the situation very nice very nice mehak good job you used two words fantastic good job all right so these words are clear to everyone in an acrid manner yeah so let's move on to the हेलो अंतरा या थोड़ा सा लेट हो गए थोड़ा सा नहीं पहला वर्ड भी हमने कर लिया है रूट वर्ड का पहला वर्ड भी हमने कर लिया है सो वी लुक एट एक्रिड और एसर जिसमें हमने हमें वर्ड्स मिले एक्रिड एंड ऑल दीज आर दिस इज आल्सो एन एडजेक्टिव दिस इज अ वर्ब एग्जासपरेट इज अ वर्ब all right exacerbated uh, the situation exacerbating the situation so it is a verb okay, okay? now yahi wala jo uh, word hai okay iska jo opposite aata hai okay the last word that we have used over here this one this one that we have used over here ye wala iska jo opposite hota hai jisko hum uh, बेसिकली अगर कोई सिचुएशन को खराब कर सकते हैं तो कोई सिचुएशन को अच्छा भी तो कर सकते हैं सो दिस इज दिस हैज गॉट अ नेगेटिव कॉनोटेशन टू इट दिस रूट वर्ड ओके ये नेगेटिव कॉनोटेशन है इस रूट वर्ड का नेगेटिव चार्ज है सो so, जितने भी वर्ड्स देख रहे हो आप इज मोस्टली नेगेटिव राइट नाउ लेट्स गो ऑन टू समथिंग पॉजिटिव ओके द सेकेंड वन दैट वी हैव इज मेली और मॉली विच इज मोस्टली पॉजिटिव ओके इट इज मोस्टली पॉजिटिव इट बेसिकली मीन्स क्या इसका मतलब क्या होता है soft or softly flowing okay so either soft or something that flows softly okay so basically it means soft okay now there are a lot of words that uh, uses melly or molly sabse pehle hum baat karenge jo word humne bataya ki iska opposite okay now aapne dekh liya ki exasperate is worsening the situation so what is the word for making a situation better hi ravneet bonjour bonjour ça va bien comment ça va the author author describes his opinion acerbically yeah you can use it with the adverb form as well yes yes sir All right. Uh, can we? Can you guess the word that is to making a situation better? Okay. देखो एक word तो होता है mitigate. Okay. Mitigate is basically uh, finding the solution for a bad situation. Okay. It is mitigate is uh, um, handling a situation. Okay. So making it okay. और राइट नाउ मेली और मॉली से जो वर्ड आया है फॉर द ऑपोजिट ऑफ एग्जासबेट इज अट ओके इट 
it is ameliorate okay ameliorate yeah we will talk about mollify as well All right. So ameliorate is a word which means making a situation better. Okay, not completely, uh, you know, uh, finding the solution for a situation. Okay, ba basically making it better. Okay, so making a situation better. Okay, so uh, for example, let's say you see a leaking tap, okay, a um, tap leak kar hai, like in to plumber ho nahi, okay, plumber nahi ho, aur aapko aata bhi nahi hai, tap fix karna, okay, so soft or softly flowing, suraj yaha par likha hua hai, yaha par root word ka matlab, this, all right, so ameliorate is basically making a situation better. Okay, so what do leaking tap? Ko kya kiye? Aapne uspe temporarily, jab tak aap plumber bula rahe ho, tab tak aapne uske around ek tight sa kapra band diya, taaki wo leak na kare. Okay, utna zada nahi leak kare. Now you have not completely, uh, uh, aapne situation ko completely sort out nahi kiya. Aapne usko kya kar diya? Ameliorate kar diya. Okay, so you have ameliorated the situation. Now this is also a verb form. Very nice, Mehek. Very nice. But no sooner than she, okay, than she, no sooner than, okay, than she realized her, uh, not then, not, uh, no sooner than she realized her mistake, she ameliorated the situation by apologizing to her boss. Very nice, Mehek. Good job. Bravo. All right. Now, the next word that we have is a melody. Melody. Melody has also come from the same root word. Melody is soft music, right? Soft music. All right, then we have something of this uh, sort of uh, only melancholy. Melancholy. Okay, mel melancholy kya hota hai? Ek soft, sad music hota hai, okay? Jaise jitne bhi Jagjit Singh ke ghazal hain. They are melancholies, okay? Melancholous uh, situation, melancholy can also be used for anything that is sad, okay? That is sad, okay? That is softly sad, okay? Uh, so that is one. Then we have mellifluous. Mellifluous is anything that flows softly, okay? Basically, like if you will see that the artificial fountains are made in decoration pieces, how does the water cascade? Karta hai? It flows softly, right? Mellifluously, okay? Or her, or her hair flew mellifluously in the air, okay? It means in slow motion, make them... Madam, madam, uske, uske baal aise aise ho rahe the, okay. So, flowing softly. All right. Uh, being content in a sad situation, mm, not really. Not being content in a sad situation. Melancholy is basically a sad situation, okay? Is basically a sad situation, okay? Melifluous, so ameliorate, melody, melancholy, mellifluous, and then we also have emollient. 
इमोलियंट इज बेसिकली वैसलीन इज एन इमोलियंट ओके इमोलियंट क्या होता है समथिंग दैट सॉफ्टन्स योर स्किन ओके सो सॉफ्टनर ओके सो स्किन सॉफ्टनर होते हैं ओके सो वैसलीन इज एन इमोलियंट ओके इमोलियंट इज एनीथिंग दैट मॉइस्चराइज एंड सॉफ्टन्स योर स्किन ओके इज एन इमोलियंट इज दिस क्लियर ऑल दीज वर्ड्स आर क्लियर नो प्रॉब्लम महक नो प्रॉब्लम मिलैंकली नेगेटिव वर्ड है नहीं है हाँ सॉर्ट ऑफ नेगेटिव वर्ड ही है दुख और पीड़ा में जीना ओके सॉर्ट ऑफ बींग लिटल सैड ओके सो बट सम पीपल इंजॉय लिस्निंग टू सैड म्यूजिक स्पेशली वेन दे आर ड्रिंकिंग रिस्की और यू नो इवन इफ देर इज नो सैड सिचुएशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल जगजीत सिंह के गजल लॉट ऑफ पीपल लिसन टू इट इवन इफ दे आर नॉट सैड दे वॉन्ट फील सैड ओके सो दैट इज मे लैंग के लिए ओके सो सॉर्ट ऑफ दैट ओके बींग कंफर्टेबल इन अड सिचुएशन इज मे लैंग के लिए So the words that we saw with Melly and Molly. Okay, now there is one more. Okay, which is Molly Coddle. I think uh, the, uh, Chinmay had uh, spoken about this. We had spoken, discussed this sometime, right, Chinmay? Molly Coddle is basically treating someone, treating. someone softly in a tender manner okay so bahut acche se kisi cheez ka dhyan rakhna bahut softly kisi delicate and now when a new baby comes uh, um, uh, in the house okay every very molly coddles the baby like that all that okay and even when you go home after a long time agar aap bahar hostel mein reh rahe hain ya let's say you're working somewhere else and you are away from home and you go home after a long time your mother makes your favorite dish your mother basically treats you like a child you get food uh, and tea and everything in bed okay you don't even have to get up to pick up a spoon okay so that is a molly coddling behavior okay so your mother molly coddles you when you come uh, come home after a long time right Molly Coddle. I was talking about Chinmay. Molly Coddle. Okay. So the uh, first word ameliorate is a verb. Okay. Melody is a noun. Melancholy is also a noun. Mellifluous is an adjective. Emollient is a noun. Molecular is a verb. When it was misunderstanding between there was a when there was a misunderstanding between Gaurav Bhai and his wife, G will be capital. Then होगा यहाँ पर then नहीं होगा then Gaurav Bhai's mother, mother-in-law, ameliorated uh, this situation, their situation, their misunderstanding. Misunderstanding is one word. Okay, bye. by being the by made by being the mediator okay by being the mediator okay <laughs> wow uh, gaurav bhai you are very lucky to have a mother in law like that <laughs> all right so these are the words with melly or molly is this clear can we move on to the next one is this clear can we move on to the next one so we looked at words like acrid acerbic acrimonious exacerbate ameliorate melody mel melancholy mellifluous emollient and molecular Wow, elucidate! I am just fascinated, Mac. You are. Oh, I'm so proud. But I, my heart swells when you use words like this uh, while talking. Very nice. So yes, I can. I definitely can. So basically, if we talk about melafluous, so her hair 
flu mellifluous okay mellifluously in the air okay or the mellifluous flowing of the water um made the environ look uh, peaceful okay or uh, made the ambience look uh, peaceful okay so or um, it was flowing in a mellifluous manner okay flowing in a mellifluous manner all right oh I'm so glad, Meg, that it is helping and I'm proud of you. Very nice. The words that you're using, I'm really, really, really proud of. Now, moving on to the next one. Is this clear? Can we move on to the next one? Last word ka meaning is basically treating one like a like a soft soft thing, okay, like a tender thing, okay, like something that is very fragile, okay, something that is very fragile, okay, something that you take care like a uh, like when you see a wounded baby bird, okay, so you take care of it very in in a mollycoddle manner, okay, so that means you take great care of it, you treat it like a tender thing, okay. So that is to mollycoddle, okay? So, so treating something with great care, uh, a lot of softness, giving a lot of, you know, tenderness, uh, providing a lot of tenderness and warmth to something or someone, okay? Well, thank you, Su Sujal. <laughs> you, uh, are you being sarcastic? I, I don't get it. Are you being sarcastic? I'm saying thank you. Then you'll be like, I was being sarcastic. <laughs> Because I think I've created a mess over here. All right. Third one is, is something that you must have uh, heard and read uh, plenty of times. Archie or Chrissy. Which basically means rule. Who won the world? Girl, Chris, who won the world? Who won the sea? Okay. Right. So you have many words with it, starting with democracy. All right. Tika? Yep. Just wrote that, all those, okay? Now, let's start with uh, democracy, okay? Now, there are a lot of words, root words emerging from this, okay, from this. Demos. Demo has come from demos, which basically means people. Okay, demos ka matlab kya hota hai? People hota hai, right? So it is ruled by the people of the people for the people, right? Democracy is that, okay? Krasi ka matlab aapko already pata hai that it means rule. Bureau has come from the French root word bureau or it has come from the German root word bugo, okay, which means office, okay? So, a rule by officials is bureaucracy, okay? Rule by officials is bureaucracy. Just in Nepal, mein hai. Now, next one is plutocracy. Now, Pluto, jaise sari planets ke names uh, has been taken from Roman gods, okay? All the planet names have been taken from uh, Roman gods except Earth, okay? Earth is not a god. 
एक्सेप्ट अर्थ जितने भी प्लान है ओके दे आर ऑल नेम्स ऑफ नॉर्थ गॉड और रोमन गॉड्स ओके सो प्लूटो इज द गॉड ऑफ जैसे हमारे पास जैसे हिंदू के लिए क्या होता है लक्ष्मी होती है गॉड ऑफ वेल्थ एंड प्रोस्पेरिटी है ना वैसे ही प्लूटो उनके पास होता है हुज द गॉड ऑफ वेल्थ एंड प्रोस्पेरिटी ओके सो रूल बाय द रिच ओके सो प्लूटोक्रेसी इज बेसिकली रिच सो रूल बाय द रिच इज कॉल्ड प्लूटोक्रेसी ओके रूल बाय द रिच इज कॉल्ड प्लूटोक्रेसी ओके देन यू हैव थियोक्रेसी थियो इज द गॉड ऑफ सॉरी थियो का मतलब क्या होता है थियो का मतलब होता है बेसिकली गॉड ओके थियो का मतलब होता है गॉड और राइट सो थीस्ट आर द पीपल आपने सुना होगा थीस्ट दिस मीन्स दैट थीस्ट आर द पीपल हु आर बिलीवर्स ओके बिलीवर्स ऑफ गॉड दैट गॉड एक्सिस्ट एंड दे आर वर्शिपर्स ऑफ गॉड ओके सो थीस्ट आर रिलीजियस पीपल पीपल हु बिलीव इन द एक्सिस्टेंस ऑफ गॉड एंड देन यू हैव द ऑपोजिट ऑफ थीस्ट विच इज ए थीस्ट ओके ए लगा देते हैं विच इज अगेटिव प्रीफिक्स ए इज अगेटिव प्रीफिक्स विच बेसिकली मीन्स नॉट ओके ए का मतलब क्या होता है नॉट सो नॉट थीस्ट ओके दैट मीन्स डज नॉट बिलीव इन द एक्सिस्टेंस ऑफ गॉड ओके सो ए थीस्ट ये हो गया ओके सो नाउ कमिंग बैक टू थियोक्रेसी थियोक्रेसी इज बेसिकली अ नेशन दैट इज रूल्ड बाय गॉड ओके ऑब्वियसली God does not rule the place. It is the people who are considered next to God, like the popes and the fathers and the priests, like um, Vatican City, which is the smallest country, is theocratic. Okay, it is ruled by popes. Is this clear? then you have monarchy okay monarchy is uh, monarch se aaya monarch is basically jahan par king ya queens rule karte hain kings rule karte hain is monarchy okay that is monarchy oligarchy a oligo oligio which means oligio ka matlab kya hota hai it has come from this root word which means a few okay so rule by a few is oligarchy okay a few people rule the place okay and anarchy is the state of complete lawlessness okay complete complete lawlessness koi government nahi hai government ko gira diya gaya hai and basically terrorism bahut zyada phail raha hai so that is wow <laughs> that is anarchy listening to melancholy melancholic um, hum coming from the top of the mountain she was slowly getting lost in it very nice and the sound of and the sound of a uh, mellifluous river beside her ameliorated the aesthetics making it exactly what she wanted however not being able to put a face to the that hum made her uncanny uh made her uncomfortable okay uncanny is something that is um uncanny would not be suitable for this one okay she wanted full stop she wanted to know who this person was having such a melodious voice is a blessing she thought to herself very nice wow ramneet very nice good job marvelous good job all right so is is it clear till here okay democracy bureaucracy plutocracy theocracy monarchy oligarchy anarchy all right Can we move on to the next root word? हमने तीन ही किए हैं आज अभी तक Nowadays in Bihar, government teachers are being mentally and physically harassed. 
by bureaucrats by asking by uh, who asked them to teach from nine to five okay ajit my telegram channel is an academy underscore vashnavi shifa does this time work for you underscore clat is this time okay with you shifa because we are going to continue with this time theek hai all right so next uh, next we are going to discuss side and sis okay A lot of words from this one so it is basically related to side ka root word ka matlab hota hai killing and sis ka matlab hota hai cut a cut cutting okay no problem at all shifa <laughs> no problem at all in fact this is more convenient for me as well all right so let's get started with the words okay sabse pehle okay so you have words like suicide you have patricide you have matricide you have sorocide you have patricide you have urixo side or also known as gamicide insecticide pesticide you already know feticide you already know infanticide you already know right um regicide आती हूं ओके आई यू आस्किंग मी राय भगत अभी कंप्लीट नहीं किया है मैंने अभी बस लिखा है ओके दीज आर ऑल वर्ड्स विथ साइड विच हैज साइड इन इट ओके देखो लास्ट में क्या है सबके ऑल ऑफ दिस हैज साइड इन इट ओके साइड इज द सफिक्स सफिक्स सबका क्या है साइड है side okay which is related to killing okay now let's move on to uh, i'll just be writing the words first and then i will be explaining it okay explain tab karungi pehle ye kar leti hu okay let's do side okay side is related to killing okay so suicide is self killing patri ka matlab kya hota hai patri is i am your father patri is father so you have paternal side and maternal side so paternal side is father's side maternal side is mother's side so patri ka matlab kya ho gaya father so killing of the father killing of your own father is killing of someone's own father is called patricide killing of someone's own mother is called matricide morta all right sorocide is killing one's sister fratricide is killing one's brother urixocide or gamicide is killing one's wife and androcide is killing one's husband i have not written it here but androcide is andricide a n d r i androcide is killing one's husband okay something that most couples want to do after getting married okay so um urixocide is killing of the wife andricide is killing of the husband regicide is killing of the king killing of the king is 
regicide. Then we have two most important words I missed out. Homicide. It has come from the root word homo, which means same and side. So killing of the same kind. Basically, I kill you, you kill me. It is homicide. Okay. So basically murder is homicide. Okay. And then you have genocide. Mass killing is genocide, right? Mass killing. Yeah, Philippos, uh, killing mother is matricide, killing father is patricide. Uh, both the parents, I'm not sure. I'm not sure of the word. Okay. Is this clear? So all this homicide is basically a murder, okay, killing of the same kind. So you must have read it in newspaper, a case of homicide was registered this morning. So it basically means a case of murder was registered this morning. Another word for murder is homicide, okay. And then genocide is mass killing, all right. So let's do uh, now, uh, since we are done with side, let's do cis a little, okay. So, सबसे पहले और सबसे easiest word scissors. So, scissors में scissors आता है, which is used for cutting, right? Then you have incisor, so the the teeth that is used for cutting through food. These front teeth are used for cutting through food, okay? That is, in those teeth are called incisors, okay? And then you have incision. Incision is the surgical cut made by the doctor, okay? Surgical cut made by the doctor is called an incision, isn't it? The surgical cut made by the doctor No, own family. These are all about own family, okay? Because um, anyone, if they murder someone's father, it is just it is just homicide, okay? If someone mur murders someone else's father, then it is homicide, okay? Because um, he must be someone's father, someone's brother, someone's uh, uh, someone's um, husband. So it doesn't count. Own family ke baan baat ho rahi hai. If someone does any of these to their own family. For, for the North Korean government, genocide is not an offense. Very nice. Rahi, good job. Incision is a surgical cut. Okay. Incision is a surgical cut. Okay. So, abhi tak humne, let's just quickly go back from the beginning. Acrid, acerbic, acrimonious, exasperate, ameliorate, melody, melancholy, mellifluous, emollient, mollycoddle. Democracy, bureaucracy, plutocracy, theocracy, monarchy, oligarchy, anarchy, suicide, matricide, patricide, sorocide, fratricide, eurexocide, androcide, regicide, homicide, genocide, uh, insecticide, pesticide, all these are also included. Uh, scissors, in, scissors, they can incision, they can and, in, uh, and incisors, they can, okay, incisor, uh, other teeth that are used for cutting through food, okay. No, not. N will be capital, you were right. The lagna chahiye, bas uske pehle, ha? Thik hai. Alright, moving on to the next one. Baby, you can start a count, you see. Scissor mein CIS aa raha hai na yaha par. Basically, this is for cutting. Okay, mene bataya, CIS jab bhi use hota hai, it is for cutting, okay? So CIS over here is for cutting. Yes, uske baare mein bhi hum dekhenge, uh, Philippos, we will be looking at sect as well. 
sectus or sect and Tommy as well. I, I think we will only be able to complete five. So we will uh, turn down, we we'll drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. We'll um, stop it at five. And tomorrow we will continue from sixth onwards, okay? Six to 10 and then um, some more. Okay. All right, so dole is basically a root word, just come at sad ya pain. All right, it basically means sad or pain. All right, so subse pehla is se hai. You're welcome. Doleful. All right. Doleful is something that is depressing. And miserable. So a doleful situation is a situation which is depressing situation and a miserable situation. Okay. Uh, looking at people who are suffering in Gaza is a doleful situation. Okay. Uh, it's doleful to look at them. Okay. Or doleful to know about them. Okay. So it is a depressing and a miserable situation that they are in. Right. So. Kyushanu, why is your mood sad? I didn't want to. I mean. Uh, but we have done some positive things as well. Yeah, a lot of killing and cutting and uh, sad, sad, yeah. <laughs> but you, your mood shouldn't be affected by this. This is just something that is, uh, uh, I, I feel bad now that I, uh, is it because of the words that we are talking about? <laughs> no, Shana, then uh, get up, start jumping. Okay, shake your body and you'll feel fine. Okay, all right. So, doleful is a depressing or a sad situation. Okay, depressing or a sad situation, a uh, miserable situation. Then you have the second word. This is other words. You'll see. Doldrum. Okay. Doldrum is another word um, which basically means this is two meaning. Okay. So I will be using the same word twice. Okay. Doldrum ka matlab kya hota hai? Someone who is unsuccessful. Or Showing no activity. So the experiment proved to be a doldrum. Okay, the experiment proved to be a doldrum. That means it was an unsuccessful experiment or it did not reap any benefit, okay, or results, okay. Or development. All right. Is doldrum okay? So, this is one meaning of doldrum. The, se the second meaning of doldrum, so let's take it as another word itself, is basically sad and be, uh, no energy, nothing with no enthusiasm. all right then we have the fourth one that is something that you must have heard people saying it when someone passes away you go to their house and you say my condolences okay my sympathy is with you okay
you provide sympathy. Okay, so my condolences, uh, when you say my condolences, um, when you say to someone, that means you are, you are providing sympathy to that person for the person is going through a lot of pain and is basically sad. Okay. <laughs> awesome, Rahi. Good job. <laughs> if you have no tension, then uh, I mean, nothing like it. <laughs> Very few are blessed that way. Very few are blessed that way that they don't feel anything. Like they don't feel stress. Ara, <laughs> ara. Okay. Yeah, could be because you are prepared. Chinmay is right. Maybe because you are prepared. <laughs> All right. And finally, there is the word indolent. Indolent is someone who's lazy. All right. Lackadaisical, lazy is indolent. Tika? All these words are clear. So doleful, doldrum, doldrum, condolence, and indolent. Shanuka message, Shanuka message. Can I correct with, connect with you personally? Um, if you can find me on my Telegram group, uh, Shanu, uh, I go by the name V. Okay, so if you can find me, you can send me a, a message on Telegram itself. Okay. Yeah, the clear hai. If it is clear till here, so we are going to wind up uh, over here. Okay. So just going back once again so that these words aapke dimaag mein chhap jai, imprint ho jai. So the words that we did were Pehla root word acri or yesar tha jisse humne acrid kiya hai, cerbic kiya, acrimonious kiya, exacerbate kiya. Okay. Then melly and molly se humne kiya, ameliorate, melody, melancholy, mellifluous, emollient, mollycoddle. Then Chrissy and Arki se kiya, democracy, bureaucracy, plutocracy, theocracy, monarchy, oligarchy and anarchy. Then we did from side, which is killing, and cis, which is cut. Okay, so uh, suicide, patricide, matricide, sorocide, fratricide, urixocide, organicide, uh, then andricide, regicide, homicide, genocide. And then we did with cis, we did scissor, incision, uh, and incisors. Okay. Then the fifth one, dole, which is sad or pain. Uh, dole is the root word. Just say, we have doleful, doldrum, which has got two meanings, either being unsuccessful or, or reaping no, no result. And doldrum, which also means sad with no energy and or enthusiasm. Okay. And then we did condolence and indolent. All right. Rohit, it's late se aaye aur ab aake aap namaste kar rahe ho. So these are the words for today. Thank you so much, everyone, for attending the session. I will see you again at 12 o'clock. Um, I wouldn't say it's sharp. <laughs> Because it's never sharp for me. <laughs> Bad habit. Um, so I'll see you then. Um, please make sure that you come for the editorial session as well. Uh, like you have been coming up for these sessions. Uh, and I will see you from uh, in the next class. That is again at 9 a.m. To, to discuss uh, vocabulary part 2. Okay, root words part 2. We will have part 3, part 4, part 5, part 6, whatever. Uh, however, how many parts it takes we will do that for this month and we'll also be doing a little bit of reading comprehension pad jumbles this month okay that is the target for this month for these classes so see you again at 12 bye bye everyone take care uh, thank you rahi thank you thank you no no don't be sorry i mean it's not a compulsion to, for you to wish me uh, don't be sorry about it thank you so much Haan, bhagat, okay. All right. Thank you, Malaya. Welcome. Oh, thank you, Antara. Thank you. Thank you, Sujal. Thank you, Chinmay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye now.